Most applications will need a form of authentication, and authentication is simply logging into a website, uh, registering a website, and then being able to log in. So I'm sure many of you use Facebook and you log into Facebook. Um, if you don't, you have to register for an account, and that is your simple form of authentication. And that's what we're gonna show you in this video. It's very easy to get set up. It's very easy to create your own authentication system from a new Laravel app. So let's go ahead and show you from the very beginning and let's create a new Laravel app inside of our sites directory. So I'll just say Laravel new and I will call this project auth. Okay, and after that gets created, then I can go ahead and CD into that project and then I can run PHP artisan serve. And now if I go to my local host 8000, sure enough, I will have a blank Laravel install in front of me. So the next thing that we will need to do is we'll need to open up our project in our favorite text editor, and then we will need to go into a file called .env and we need to add our database credentials. So I am going to create a new database and I will just call this auth. And inside of my database name, I will need to change that to auth, and then we will change the username and password both to root. And now let's go back to our terminal and we will run an artisan command called php artisan make auth. And this is going to add a lot of views and a new controller to our project and it will basically create all the new files that we need for a full authentication system. And it will also add a few migrations or we should have some migrations by default. If I go into database migrations, you can see in here that we have a create users table. So this is saying let's create this users table and also let's create this passwords table. So we can run a command to run these functions and to create new tables in our database. If we look at our database, we don't have any tables currently at the moment. But let's go ahead and change that by running php artisan migrate. And connection refuse. Let's go ahead and change db host to localhost. And let's run that command again. And sure enough, you can see that we have create users table and create password resets table. So if we look back inside of our database, we refresh. Now we have this migrations, which is keeping track of all the migrations that we have run. We have our password resets and our users table. Okay, now let's go back to our localhost 8000. And wow, you can see we already have a full bootstrap uh, homepage with a login and a register here. Um, so let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go ahead and register for an account. Let's just say John Doe and John Doe at Gmail password, password. Okay, and there we go. Now we've just created a new account. Uh, but you can see that the uh, login and the register, um, huh, it still doesn't look like we're logged in, right? Let's try the homepage. Okay, well, the homepage says that we're logged in and let's see, I can then log out. Let's go back to the main page. Yeah, it still looks like we're not logged in. And that's because this specific route is not inside of a specific middleware. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go into my app, HTTP routes.php, you'll see that we have this route group middleware. And I can remove this additional one because we have another one down here. So route get slash home. Yeah, remember we went to that one and it said that we were logged in but then we went to this slash directory. See, we went to localhost 8000 slash, and it doesn't seem to say that we're logged in. And that is because we do not currently have this route inside of this web middleware. And this web middleware allows us to leverage all, a lot of Laravel stuff, such as sessions, which is where whenever we try and log in, it will store our session and it will notify that we're logged in. And most of our web applications are going to be inside, most routes are gonna be inside of this web middleware. So just from here on out, if you're building your web app, I would recommend putting your routes inside of this middleware. And it will definitely save you some time. You can leverage a lot of the helpers provided by Laravel. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back to the home route and I will log out real quick. So let's test this out again. Let's log in as John Doe, put in password. And now you can see that we're on the homepage and it looks like that we're logged in because we have John Doe up here and we can log out. We can go back to the home and it says you are logged in and we can log back out. 
and we have the login register. We try and go to the home page and it's not gonna allow us because it asks us to log in. So we could log in again and it brings us back to the home page. And we have John Doe, we can log out. So you can see just in the matter of uh, four or five minutes, we just created a full authentication system for our app. Uh, so that's just the basics of doing authentication in your Laravel 5.2 app. And uh, I will see you in the next video.